These guys, two of my best students, are gonna come forward and demonstrate this for a second. My best students that I've taught you everything, what are your names again? <laughs> Jason and Eric. Jason and Eric, come on. You, you show what you're doing. He's just a white belt and I taught him all this. Look. <laughs> Flowing around in between standing controls. Anybody else want to try it? Yeah? Uh, no? No? Okay. Let's try what? Can't follow that. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like, ooh, that's pretty good. They're not even from our school. So. <laughs> All right, so uh, here, I'll use you again since you're so awesome. Uh, uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's chill back out again, do some Daitoru Kato work, and let's take a, lo a little look at Aikiyage. My Aikiyage is terrible, so anytime I get a chance to work on Aikiyage, Aiki up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. So if you come in, grab the wrists, right? I need to already be moving. I don't wanna wait till I'm grabbed and then try this, but if I can begin to turn upwards, keep my elbows tight to my body, bring them up, over, and then I'm gonna turn the ball back down and achieve a little bit of a sage in there. All right, so here, pretend you have a ball here, elbows towards my body, rotate it upwards, and you can kiss the ball if you want, bring it close. Turn your body ever so slightly, and then try turning that ball back down and see if you can get any results there, All right? So the, the elbows, really, really important. Bring them close to the body. A lot of times uh, I'll do stuff and my elbows are way out here. It's, it's, it's bad technique. I, I admit sometimes I have bad technique. Hold the ball close and now we're just right in that center line, right? Oh, and relax. See, my fingers are all tight. That's terrible, terrible technique. All right, point them where you want them to go, which is upwards, and scoop under with those elbows. Rotate them a little bit, or you can just relax them in the direction that you want them to go, right? So that's the slow, goofy version, right? Oh, oops, that's a, that was leading them a little bit too much, but it still seemed to work. Either that or it's because he's from Aikikai Guy. Oh, will fall for me if I need him to, but thank you. All right, cool. So as you get a little bit better with this technique, lead him into the shape. Don't wait till afterwards like most of us do. Move right before he hits and like I said, all Ike is lost at this point because you know we're, we're tense and we're slow and show and stuff. But here, up and over. Cool? Give it a try, see what we can come up with. And uh, I'm sure we'll come up with all the problems associated with, uh, with doing this. Thank you, sir. Coming out, uh, I can't do this on all body types uh, either. Let's see, Chris, can you demonstrate uh, what you're doing, the problem that you're having uh, with Charlie here? Or so I mean, you may, maybe you can solve the problem here, but go ahead. Okay, so, Let's see. Okay, so he's going in, all right. Yeah, and Charlie's tight. He, Charlie's loose and relaxed. And you'll notice his arm is coming up, but he's not getting much of a rise into here. And I had the same problem the first couple times I did this with Charlie as well. So if you're, if you're up here, you're trying to lift the guy with your muscles and really, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to like scoop underneath him and elbow him in the chin. This is the jiku. This is the uh, neutral pivot point of this. And I'm going to try to keep this more or less still. I'm going to direct the line of direction with my fingertips. I'm going to say, hey, let's go up. Actually, I'm going to say, you, let's go up. And that's all I'm, I've gotten from there. And now my elbows are going to come under. And remember, I had that ball in my hand. I'm going to give it a little kiss and then I'm going to set it down over here. Let's not even think about saga yet. We'll just worry about relaxation. So, if I can, hey you, let's go up. I'm going to hit him with my elbows. I'm going to rotate him slightly, and then I'm going to set that ball onto the ground. Solve a few problems. You notice in yourself or in your partner that you're doing your age like this, that ain't working. Also, 
Watch your fingertips. Are your fingertips when you're trying to do age out there? That's not up. Where's up? Up is up here. And it immediately makes a change in what's going on in him. Remember what we've been working on for the last few days is I point upwards and look at the rise that I get. I'm not lifting him, I'm holding him up at this point, but in the, in the middle of lift and a technique, I'm just directing, I'm reshaping him in that direction, right? Here, oh. just by pointing my fingers up, he's along for the ride. All right, try this a couple more times, see if we can get something going here. I'll give you a few tips that, that I've come up with because I haven't even I discovered all the problems with this yet and I sure haven't solved them, but I can give you a couple of the ones that I have figured out. Uh, at least that I'm trying to work on, Mr. Kirby, sir. All right, so invariably you're gonna be working out with some guy in here and he's gonna grab you in a weird spot like here and you're gonna try to do your Aikiyage and it's, your, your wrists are going right through the weak part of his grip, right? So part of this is we're gonna control his grip on us. So a lot of times what I like to do is I'll turn my palm up and then Ota Sensei, my teacher, talked about imagining a little tack right here. So boom, I'm gonna tack my wrist right into the part of the palm that I want. So he's not grabbing me like this because I can't achieve what I want that way, right? So as he comes in, I kinda of try to shape my wrists right into his hand here, and then I bring everything into the center line and attack underneath. Okay, so that's one of the problems. Uh, let's see, what's another problem that uh, I don't know, anybody else encounter anything else that we need to talk about? That you felt, no? Nothing. All right, so just remember, fingertips up. No, it goes right back into what we were doing here, All right? <laughs> Shape it into his hand. All right, cool. Let's work on this just a couple more minutes, please. Thank you. Thank you. And then I'll give you enough to work on for 20 years. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Boom. To just tell you about two other problems that I thought of um, and some solutions for. Uh, uh, can I use you, Jules, for a second here? So again, a lot of people are doing akiyage out here where they're trying to lift up this guy's arms and they're not into him. And you need to make sure that you invite the guy in. So I'm gonna come up and through him. And a lot of times I imagine it by grabbing his belly, my fingers are too stiff, grab his belly and then do akiyage. And then I tend to get some better results that way. Right, so here, that was okay, but you know, but here. All right, cool. The other problem that I have is sometimes like on uh, John Kirby over there, I go to do Aikiyage and his elbows bend, right? And that's okay. It's not great, it's not picture perfect, but we want to start working on solving some of the problems here. And so what I'm gonna do is I turn my palms back down just a little bit and I attack around with my elbows and then come up and you feel how that straightens your arms out a little bit so you still need to grab the belly. I need to do all the other angles and directions at the same time that I've been talking about but now I can keep his arms straight. So one of the feelings that if you, let's take a look at this one-handed, boom, right there. In a way I'm going boom just like a big crashing ikyo or ikido or a boom right there. And I'm doing it on this side as well, that side as well, in order to create it, right? Now, one of the comments I got is the relaxed part is the hardest part. So let's stand up for a second here. And this is kind of a systemic thing. Put your hands out in front of you. And this is an exercise we did in system anyways. Tighten up all your muscles, tighten up all your muscles, and drop. Out. Uh, that's the feeling of throwing as far as I'm concerned, like the IQ that I'm trying to develop is relax. Uh, relax. And now tighten it up a little bit for a second just for to, to teach your muscles to relax and point to a place on the ground. Both fingers point to a place on the ground. You want your body all working as one. One of the things that's terrible about my Daitoru is usually I do it one handed and I need to get both hands doing the same thing. So we have a Yaido 
high level teach or student in here. Hey Jack, how much power do you use when you cut with the sword? How much power? Yeah. All of it. All, all of it? Okay, well, in the style that I practice, they say relax. They're in the relax yeah. motion is very powerful. So basically projecting out, relax, relax, relax. Huh? Make body structure. Yeah, so, so it's structure that does it, and it's not, I'm sorry, the microphone isn't probably hearing you, so I'm repeating what you're saying. It is. Oh, it is? Okay, then it's just a garble, and I sounded like an idiot. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to work on, let's work on uh, Ipandori. Ikkyo, Oshitayoshi, I don't know, what do you call it in your system? What? You don't know. You don't even know. All right, so let me use you for a second here, Tyler. We're going to work on our relaxed whip. So let's start here. All right, I'm going to try to relax my arm as much as possible. And I'm going to make a cut, right? And I'm going to make a cut across him. Daitoru techniques and Aiki techniques, they work across the center line, right? Boom. And I'm going to cut into this foot. Let's just start with that here. I'm going to relax. Boom. There. And actually, he doesn't have to do it from a grab. He can do it from a strike, too. And I can cut over here. I was a little bit tenser than I wanted to be. Cut through him and break him onto this foot for a split second. I'll grab again, please. Boom. And this is where we're going to start going. The cut is going to come across, relax as possible. Remember that dead arm we were kind of doing? This is a structured dead arm, and I'm going to bring it all the way to my hip. So the motion is going to be whoo. Yeah. It was interesting how it led you there, though. <laughs> I was just trying to. All right, so here, whew, right there. Cool? Give that a try. Come in and grab and see. Uh, your job is you're going to tell me if I'm doing this and I'm trying to force something to you. I don't need to do anything to him. I just need to give a good chop to my hip, okay? Nice, relaxed. Get your breathing involved into it too if you can. All right, give it a try. We only have 15 minutes left. It's easy. Uh, we were just, I was just talking with Charlie. The way that I learned this technique originally is you bring him this way, which isn't really a it's a balance break, but it's not kazushi as I, as I define it. You bring the elbow up and you push it through their ear. And he's got structure here. He's got bones and he's got an ability to fight. But here, I'm bringing him out. If I need to, I can bring and curve it around his head to bring him down for the next one. Cause, uh, or I can just, if I can get it, I can bring him straight out. There, right? So don't push against him. If I push against him, this is a competitor. Yeah, I can't push against him. I can try to even push against him. I don't know. So here. Oh. All right. So nice, relaxed here. And this isn't always going to work. I might break him here, but then I got other techniques on his rebound. So this is like a basketball bouncing now. Boom. Boom. I'm using one hand again. This is the thing that I'm really working on. Two hands, two hands, two hands. There. So after the first cut, you're in a lot better shape than I'm probably. So let me bounce you around. Bounce, bounce. And see if you can get that to happen. Again, every one of these, I'm lifting up my own arms and relaxing. Relaxed whip into them. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Cool? See if you can get it to happen. You can think about basketball, think about any of this stuff, but go from the cut, let him back up, and bounce him around on his, use the energy of his standing to throw him. Okay? Cool. Give it a try. Okay, here, let me use you again. I like, I like throwing you. We look good together in hockey next so. All right, so, oh, all right, so, I got center line control on this guy. Uh, I'm going to move less than I do when I'm doing my Aikido. Center line control, see if I can bring him upwards. I'm going to reshape him. My first touch, Kazushi on contact. I need to arch him. This is actually kind of crappy. I'm not going to, I'm too, too busy talking. Here, arch. Cool. I'm going to get him to fold or I'm going to get him to twist in some way. 
right? From the very first second that I touch it. Here, twist, arc, down. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Here, I got them up and twisted. Can create sage over them. Notice I don't have to move all over the mat in order to achieve this kind of stuff. A lot, and a lot of times when we're doing a Aikido, we might have to move like that, right? But I'm trying to do a reductionist thing here. Less space, less time, less pain, less power than I was doing in my earlier career. So um, let's see, less space. Uh, with my Oshi Taiyoshi, you can go through this real slow here. Ikkyo, he's a one, two, three. Uh, it's probably about six steps, right? And now I can achieve that. Oh. Apparently, and one step. Thing is, I gotta listen to what he did. I screwed up, I always screw up in my techniques. Own your mistakes, like Hussey Sensei was saying. Ride with your mistakes rather than, uh, let's see. Yeah. Up, down, here. Controlling that center line. Throwing, probably getting tired, huh? All right, thank you, sir. Uh, let's make a circle, please. Um, we don't have to hold hands yet. I got I got at least two minutes to pontificate for for y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Uh, uh, any thoughts, questions, comments, testimonials? Uh, some of this stuff is bordering on the the Aikido versus Daitoru line. I really don't care. I like it all uh, as long as people are 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 falling down really easy for me. It's I, it's all good. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't always have to take big steps across the room. You don't have to take big steps, but you do have to do movement. Yeah. And the movement is going to be somewhere. You can either, the center has to move. And you, the stepping is a representative of your center moving, but also your center moving is representative of your center moving. And so you do have to develop constant motion, I think. Yeah, uh, but I mean, it's nice mm -hmm. to be reminded that here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cool. Any other comments? Thoughts? Yeah. Fun ride. Fun ride. Yeah, yeah. Lots of ups and downs for sure. Uh, uh, Chris, you had something? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to be doing some, some probably more Tanto Jitsu uh, stuff there as far as it relates to Aiki work. Um, should be fun. And I want to be really, really express that, you know, uh, how grateful I am that, A, anybody really cares about my art form, uh, that it's, I'm still, hopefully, can, I got maybe 30 or 40 more years on the mat, and maybe I'll get this down uh, before I'm done. Uh, but I'm a really grateful for Nick, Nick Kazuya Tabutakai, all the friends that we've made here. And I really want to emphasize what a special thing this is. Uh, this is crazy. We got, you know, people from all over the, the country and the world coming together at this place a couple times a year to, to have a good time. Um, and it's also really, it's, it's great to be able to share some of this art because I know that probably three quarters of you could just beat me up. But it's nice to be able to show the principles and puzzles and whatever uh, and in a way that we're all learning and, and it's positive. And I don't think anybody's gotten hurt except for, for, for me last night. After yeah, I was I've getting, got I've got a had a had a large orangutan crawl on me and beat me for a while. So. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, thank you all very much. I hope to see you at the winter session. Uh, and uh, if you like what I do, give me a call. I'm always available to at least chat about stuff. Chris knows we've uh, had way too many conversations till three in the morning for his uh, his lady to like. So, but uh, feel free to give me a call. Keep in contact. Uh, Facebook me, email me. Uh, thank you all very much. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you all very much.